Hello Team Allied. Today we will be going over flushing procedures and explain why we do the things we do today. We take great pride in not commingling oils when we are pumping into customers' tanks or repackaging products in our warehouse. Many years ago, we recognized that we had a tremendous amount of flush oil while maintaining product integrity and we implemented an air pigging process. We worked closely with a vendor of ours to complete a month-long flush study to ensure that air pigging was an effective way to reduce flush cost and still deliver pure quality product. With the help of Jordan, one of our Wichita drivers, and Roger, one of our Wichita warehouse team, we will review the flush chart as well as the flush volume calculator. Jordan will then walk us through the flushing process on a truck and Roger will walk us through the process of clearing the lines after filling a container. Keep in mind that flushing is not only important when making deliveries, but also when filling totes, unloading tankers, and any time you are dealing with multiple oils in a single line. The theoretical flush volume calculator is used to determine the amount of flush you will need to clear your line based on the size and length of your hose. This calculator is completely customizable to match the equipment you are working with. Every truck should have a copy of this on there, so if you're not in a familiar truck, you know what the flushing measurements are. This chart will provide you the reduced common volume and help with the flush chart will ensure that you are flushing correctly without wasting product. The flush chart is a breakdown of the flush amounts by products. Some products need to be flushed more due to the nature of the next product you will be pumping. If an oil is heavier, it may take longer to get all of it out of the line. The chart is very easy to use. To use the chart, just find the product that is currently in your line, then find the product you are moving to and follow the chart. For example, if you are going from an HDMO product to a PCMO product, you would need to flush two times the reduced common volume. But if you were going from a PCMO to an ATF, you would need to flush four times the amount. Now let's hand it over to Jordan and Roger for the correct way to flush, whether you're in the warehouse or in a delivery unit. Today we're talking about clearing your line doing the air pig system. Once you've reached the desired amount for the customer or empty the tote, you shut your air a valve to the tote. Then you turn on the tote adapter bleeder valve. Once you've done that, then you engage the pump until the meter stops running. Once the meter stops running, you stamp your meter ticket for the amount pumped. Once that is done, then you turn on the air and allow the system to run at least two minutes before you shut the pump off to make sure it gets everything out of the product line. Once you've done that, you turn your air off and you turn your pump off. When you have similar products like a 520 and a 530, then you can proceed to switch over to the other tote and pump the, that product. If it is a heavier oil like a 1540 or a 1030 or even a 50 weight, you need to completely clear the line before pumping the next product. After filling a tote or a drum, you need to clear the line. In order to do that, you put the pump in reverse open the trigger on the nozzle and start the pump. After a minute or so, you shut the pump off, close the nozzle, and then you can turn the valves off. Thank you guys. There are a few tips when it comes to flushing that are important to remember. When it comes to 020, regardless of brand, you must always flush unless you are going from a PCMO to a PCMO and are pumping over 100 gallons of the next product. However, when moving from an allied product to a competitor's product, remember the 10% rule. For example, if you are going from an allied 520 to a Pennzoil 520 and are pumping over 100 gallons of the Pennzoil, 
there is no need for additional flush because you are pumping more than 10% of the amount of ally that would be in the line. Same as if you were going to pump 75 gallons of Rotella 1540 from a Pinzoil 520. If the reduced common volume is two gallons after pigging, there is no need to do any additional flushing. Thank you, Jordan and Roger. Always remember to flush the lines before filling the next container if you are switching products and make sure that you are using the correct product dedicated line while filling. This will prevent any cross contamination. If the pump in your warehouse doesn't have the capability to reverse the line, be sure to walk the line completely to clear the line. Check your delivery units and warehouse unload and fill stations to make sure that you have the appropriate flush charts and procedures posted. If not, please reach out to your supervisor. Proper flushing is essential to our business. This not only makes sure we are delivering quality product, but also eliminate disposal of new oil. If you have any questions on the flush procedures, please reach out to your regional vice president. Thank you for your time today.